Hey everyone, it's Shay. Today is a Monday makeup chat where I do this glowy, smoky eye for you. We are going on a date night, my husband and I. It's Sunday. This will be posted tomorrow for Monday. But that's why I glammed this way today and wore a little bit more than I usually do on a normal Monday. Yeah, we're very excited. We have not gone on a date in like two and a half months, so it's very much overdue. So anyways, today's video I use almost all the products I got in my last Sephora haul with the exception of a few because I had gotten multiple like blushes and stuff like that. But yeah, all the skin stuff, highlight, bronze I use all of that skincare so if you missed that video by the way I'll link it below it was posted a couple videos ago if you're new to these videos I chat it's like a get ready with me where I chat with you like we're girlfriends so today I opened up about something a little bit scary infertility stuff again and um, just staying positive when your spouse is gone and you're raising babies by yourself or baby one baby three babies more if you count the dogs um, just stuff like that so always comment below I love when you guys comment on these videos because it lets me know who watching and I can chat with you like you're really out there and not just a camera that I'm talking to so I love these videos I really do they're some of my favorite ones so I hope you enjoy and let's just get going hola I got <laughs> I have no energy right now so I'm trying to muster up some I got these three products from my Sephora haul. They're like skincare and I use them in my vlog, but I just wanted to show you here in case you didn't watch that. And this is your first time seeing them. This is an eye cream. I've just been using these all week and I really like them. Bright and Tight Eye Cream by uh, In Beauty. I don't know exactly how to say it, if it's In Beauty Project or if people just say In Beauty. And then I got the Face Glaze. This is a new brand to me. I learned about them on TikTok. <laughs> Where else? But this one, I just love the marketing. It says it's a ring light for your face. Like who doesn't want a ring light all over their face? Oops, see, it is a ring light for your face. It's so pretty. I've worn this quite a bit without makeup. And it just like I put it on the other day before I went to the gym, not wearing any makeup. And it just makes you feel like, oh, I took a little time and did something and I look a little more awake and refreshed than like, nothing on your skin or even more than just a moisturizer because it does have that glow to it which is really really beautiful and then this is a lip oil they have several colors I want to say maybe like five or six they have like a dark berry one I think would be pretty for fall I want to get I saw quite a few of you got this from my like to know it my links I create and I was so excited because sometimes it's scary putting yourself out there and talking about products because I never want someone to buy something and it not work for them and then feel like they wasted money based on my recommendation like it's scary things work different for everyone but I I mean I have nothing bad to say like it smells good it has a little sticky tackiness but not way too much but it still helps it last longer does that make sense again through Pilates wore this I feel like during Pilates I'm like <sighs> like <laughs> huffing and puffing a little bit sometimes and my lips would always feel so chapped even if I would start out the class with chapstick and I feel like this lasted the whole time last week so I like I said want to buy more of these and just keep them everywhere I'm gonna go blow dry my hair otherwise it's gonna be a curly frizzy mess but I just wanted to do my skincare real quick I'm pretty sure I've shown you guys this from grown alchemist it's my favorite body cream for some reason I have two in this turquoise color but when I go to link it it's gray or something it's another color but I think it's the same thing because all of the details and the name and everything so I think they just repackaged oh my god I love this is like a spa in a tube I'm gonna use some of this milk primer anything I use uh, will be listed down below because once I get talking I probably will forget to mention it so happy Monday I will explain why I said I have low energy my husband was gone for like two weeks almost <clears throat> with the exception of coming home after my daughter was asleep and leaving 20 minutes within her waking up one day he had to like switch locations where he was working so it's been a long two weeks and I feel so silly because I know there's moms that are single moms like my sister for example her husband has gone all summer for his job so I know it could always be worse sometimes it's just hard and I think there's a trick in me and my sister were talking about this this morning there's like a trick in knowing how far you have to go like okay I'm by myself or I'm figuring it out whatever it may be whatever task you know maybe it's not a mom thing maybe it's a you're at a job you hate but you're gonna do it till Christmas time or you know what I mean there's like a mental game in telling yourself how long something that's hard is gonna be and then if it extends it's like you're dead you have no more energy for it because you expected it to be over already does that make sense so I felt like this time for him I I just didn't know how long he'd be gone and so it was just like oh my god I'm starting to die because I thought you were only gonna be gone for like a week and now you've gone two weeks and and now you're home for 10 days which is fantastic he's on vacation but after that we go back to where he's like staying the night four days a week at work so I'm alone half the over half the week again so it's just like a mental we're gonna get back to like our normal I think October so that'll be good 
not only that just i'm tired from i started doing the keto diet and if you haven't ever done it the very first couple days you just feel kind of sick and low energy they call it the keto flu i've eaten in a keto diet way so many times like i can't even count i love doing it to reset i did it in january and lost like 10 pounds and then i maintained that for a really long time but this last i think it was like july ish i just we were barbecuing and eating and drinking and i feel like summer is a little bit hard for me compared to other times just because it's just all i don't know you know winter and the holidays are hard but summer for me is always hard i don't love the idea of doing a diet that is restrictive i just would rather live a healthy lifestyle and eat healthy but i feel like for myself my personality if you just watched i made like a master mom list and a reset and all that's working really well for me like when i have something to follow i usually can stick to it and of course you go off the rails sometimes and need a reset but i feel like that just works better for me to keep me on track and sometimes when i've been eating really unhealthy i feel like that as well with um with my eating like i need rules if i'm just like oh i'm gonna eat a little healthier this week it has no there's no like accountability to that and i feel like my body responds really well to the keto diet and i know how to do it well i'm not just sitting over here eating bacon i love avocado and like you know healthy meats and eggs and like olive oil and that's how i do it so i feel i'm looking for something that's not here <laughs> sorry i needed my brow spoolie and it was over on my vanity um but yeah i don't know i just feel like keto has this really bad rap because a lot of people do it and eat like bacon and cream cheese every day and while yes i do have some of that i try to keep it a little cleaner than that oh so yeah what i was saying is i my body responds well whenever i'm eating keto like after the keto flu part i feel very high energy i feel like it's pretty easy for me to maintain i just don't like the idea of like not being able to eat whatever fruit i want or like brown rice or sweet potato like healthy carbs you know so that's the part the reason i always go off the rail at eventually because I'm like I just want a banana <laughs> like this is crazy or alcohol like obviously you can't have alcohol when you're doing it maybe like a glass of red wine here and there another reason I'm doing it is because <sighs> I'm so scared to admit this on the internet. Like I haven't even told people in my life. <laughs> so I think I'm just gonna start. It's not like it needs to be some big announcement, but because of how we're trying to have another baby. I'm like, let me just talk about that because it's not gonna make sense if I just ramble on without telling you what it is. Because of how long it took me the first time, it felt like such a thing. And I just don't want it to be a thing. But I happened to be on keto when I got pregnant with Golden. I was also on Clomid. So I'm gonna probably attribute it to the Clomid, <laughs> but like I said, my body just responds well. Like I, I think I'm a little bit allergic to, I don't know if it's gluten or wheat or something, but like bready things whenever I eat that way, I feel kind of like, ugh. I mean, it might just be the nature of those things. I figure, hey, if I'm not pregnant this month, I told Danny last month, if I'm not pregnant in August, I'm starting keto again. Cause if I'm not getting fatter from pregnancy, I'm gonna try to get skinnier. <laughs> <laughs> until i'm pregnant again i'm up like five pounds from what i would was in january when i was like super happy and feeling good so it's not like a ton of weight i need to be losing so yeah just kind of a reset i wanted to reset in every aspect i'm not liking this eyebrow i feel like i just went a little crazy that's the beauty of doing your eyebrows first so how do you i want to know how you find you do the best when you want to like reset reel yourself back in lose a little weight what's the way you do it i am getting this wednesday i'm so freaking excited i'm getting a brow tint and lamination and i've never had one before so stay tuned i am so excited i'll probably talk about it on instagram it's just that my whole front of my eyebrow is fake so i just never thought i was a great candidate my friend cassie just did it and she's kind of the same as far as the front half and hers look great so me and danny are going on a date tonight since he just got home the last date we went on i actually vlogged just a little bit of it because he doesn't love being on camera or anything but it was the first weekend in june and it is like what august august 13th so it's been a while we are overdue I wanted to use this e.l.f. product to do my little light contouring today. It's just kind of more like bronzing for me because I always use my Chanel one and it's so expensive and I know that where everyone probably doesn't want to spend that kind of money on a makeup product. So this is seriously so affordable and it just blends really easy. Sometimes I put my foundation on top, like I blend it out with my foundation. My daughter is still awake. Danny's down there with her. I'm like, aren't you supposed to be in bed? For skin, I'm going to use this skin tint. I think it was a little light when I swatched it, but we'll see. I I, um, I put it on the other day, but I did mix it with some other stuff to darken it up. But I'm going to try it by itself because I feel like I have been kind of losing my tan. See, it's a little, it's a 
a little light? Maybe not. This concealer is so cool. You press the bottom and then it rolls. I feel like concealer has become one of my favorite things. I just noticed lately I've been looking in the mirror and I'm like, I feel like my eyes look so much older. And I think it's just because I'm tired a lot more these days. But concealer is just my best friend. Like concealer, mascara, blush, favorite things. And my ambient lighting powder from our class, of course. So as you can see, everything I'm putting on my skin today is dewy. Loving the dewy. Like, I'm so ready for fall, you guys. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to decorate. Fall is like my favorite. Like, Christmas is my ultimate favorite, but fall, I would say, is my second. I'm a basic girl in that way, but also I had my daughter November 9th. I was going to say November 10th because that was her due date. November 9th, and so my last moments just like laying around waiting for her to come. I was laying in my house on maternity leave with all the fall decor out. I brought her home from the hospital with all the fall stuff out, so it just gives me really good vibes the last two years when I've brought it back out well I haven't brought it out this year last year but then like this year I'm excited to bring it out because I just know I'm going to be like reminded of those times and it's just like a really cool thing to connect the season with now for me I'm excited for fall makeup I just love the dewy summer look light makeup lately I don't know I, I'm obsessed with it I've even noticed like I did two bridal trials this week I'll pop pictures in here because the girls are both beautiful, but they wanted really light looks. I made them so glowy and I just like bronzy glowy and granted that's kind of what they wanted, but I love it. Like I, I felt like I did a great job with the, like it's my style of makeup and it's always better when like someone wants the style you love because it's really easy to do. Isn't that concealer pretty? I don't know. I just, I really do like it. Liquid blush, cream blush actually. We're going to use this one from Summer Fridays. Oh my God, my fence is getting worked on you guys. Have I told you about the fence? Without being a creeper, look. It's starting. That is my friend's dad who's building the fence for us. And I'm so excited. Like you have no idea. We have a fence in our backyard, but no grass or anything. Cause when we moved in our house, there was no landscaping. And my husband basically just paid to get the fence put in cause we needed somewhere to put our dogs. Then there's a grass area in front, but no fence. And so once I had my daughter, it was just way more important to me that there be both somewhere because we want to go outside and play and it's like she's running up the driveway, you know, if I turn around for two seconds. Isn't this so pretty? This is in the color Heat Wave. I like using a brush. Um, for certain ones, like the Selena Gomez, I keep calling it that, the Rare Beauty. It looks kind of like this, but it's a blush, but this packaging. I like using my finger for that. I noticed for these cream ones, I personally like a dual fiber brush. I don't know, I feel like sometimes when I use my finger, the warmth of my finger almost like starts picking up my foundation with it, where the Rare Beauty ones are a little more liquidy, so it seems to work. But um, yeah, like just any duo fiber brush like this. This one's from Morphe. You could even use like this foundation brush I was using anything like that but anyways oh my gosh I will show you you know as it happens I'm sure in other Monday makeup chats when it's done I showed you in a Monday makeup chat back in way back in April of me planting up some of the planters in my front yard which I completely ripped out most of those plants and like redid it <laughs> it's kind of like my new obsession you know besides beauty and makeup plants you know I love house plants so now it's it's moving outside and I just love it. If you saw my Pinterest homepage, it's pergolas and fences and hydrangea gardens and like it's just, have you seen like the people talking about the granny phase, how our generation is just skipping to granny vibes? That's how I feel like I am. This is the Rare Beauty Enlighten Liquid Luminizer. Oh my gosh. So these are the ones I feel like I can use my finger with, but totally you can use the brush too. Let me get close to the camera. Sorry, my dogs are barking. That's another thing, like I can put my dogs outside in the front or in the back. Like it's just the, the more you have kids or the older you get, I think like convenience becomes a lot more important. Oh, Gigi's crying. What's going on down there? I used to be really afraid of cream and liquid products because I just felt like what, how, what, how, what, how, what, how, <laughs> what order do you put them on in, you know? But if you just play with them, and I usually try to avoid putting powder on until I'm done applying these, but you can even, if you're if you're careful, like you can go over, like say it's halfway through the day, you already set your face, and then now it's nighttime and you wanna add liquid highlight, you can do it. It's just about like light layers, I feel. Okay, so speaking of that, we're all done with our liquid skin products. So this is when I would go back and kind of just set only the areas you're gonna get oily, because you really don't wanna cover up all that glow that's the whole point you want to look glowy but i'm going to set the concealer i'm going to set in between my eyebrows that's it maybe a little right here because i feel like it makes my pores look smaller <laughs> set them with powder very natural and pretty i think i want to do a smoky eye for date night because i feel like boys like light makeup or like smoky eyes 
They don't love a bold lip because then they can't kiss you. You know what I mean? <laughs> I got these Tartlet palettes in my Sephora haul. I already had one, but I got the other two and I they're just so good. I can't wait to do makeup with them all fall. This one's the toasted one. Isn't that pretty? Sorry about the ring light reflecting really bad on it, but it's so pretty. So I think I'm just gonna do like a gold shimmery lid with some liner and keep it simple. I feel like you can probably hear the guys doing the fence though. So I'm gonna take a quick break. Let my camera charge, take a minute, see why my daughter is not napping yet. <laughs> but I am gonna add some of this Charlotte Tilbury bronzer. Just kind of setting the cream that we did from the e.l.f. product, just very lightly. You know what my favorite thing to do is too? Is add a little bit of this in your crease. Whatever bronzer you, you, la, 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 you are using, it just keeps everything looking like very natural because it's all kind of monochromatic, you know? It's like that same tone. So if you're ever like, shoot, I don't have a transition shade, grab your bronzer. It's like the perfect transition shade every time. Ooh, this video might be choppy and hopefully you don't hear them too too much right out there. They're starting. If I look sweaty, I'm so sorry. I was out there kind of marking out. Of course, the, the guys draw out where the fence is going to be and I want stuff moved. I'm like, I'm so sorry. I'm so excited about it. All right, so let's do our eyes. And what else was I going to talk about? Okay, so I was going to talk more about fertility. It's so something that you think when you're growing up, you don't even think about it actually. It's not like you think it's gonna be easy, you don't even think about it. I've noticed lately, I have like 50,000 views on my Clomid video, which is just crazy. And I have so many comments, like that is the most watched commented video I've had in a while, I think. So anyways, I was thinking because we were gonna start trying to get pregnant again with baby number two, this is very peachy called cashmere. I was thinking I would start kind of like a series on trying to get pregnant and then I thought no, like I don't want to do all that. That's just so, I don't know, like I, I love sharing everything on my channel that sometimes I can't even decide like what my niche is. I don't love that idea of like sticking to a niche, but I don't know. I just felt like that overwhelmed me and it's already an overwhelming hard topic. So I decided against that. But what I do want to do is do a like infertility journey story because obviously I have a daughter, but it took me three years to get her and starting again, trying and you know, we're three months in already. It just starts feeling like very triggering. It just throws you back into all those feelings. And I feel like my channel is a little bit incomplete with that part of the story and I don't know part of me is like does anyone care but I feel like the messages I get from my Clomid video I'm like I don't care if one person cares and the story helps somebody it's worth it and it's always like a little bit therapeutic when I make videos like when I talked about my postpartum depression that's not like a super viewed video or anything but the couple people that have wrote to me about it it helped and I feel better like talking about it and just feeling like somebody out there who was struggling like I was can now feel like they're not alone. I just, I love that aspect. Sometimes the internet sucks and I feel like there's a lot of internet bullying or making us feel like we should look a certain way or, you know, there's all these negatives, but I feel like there's also such great positives in the fact that like, imagine back when there was no internet and maybe you were like a military wife and you had no friends in the town you lived in, like you couldn't connect with anyone where now like you can get online and find someone just like you. And I love that. So I've been thinking about doing a video like that and I, I'm, it sounds weird to say I'm excited about it. I'm kind of excited about it. I think it's like something I've been meaning to do for a really long time. I'm gonna go in with this like darker red brown. It's almost three o'clock right now. <laughs> I think I started this video at like one o'clock. I'm not even kidding, but I keep pausing to go do fence stuff or blow dry my hair. Bless his heart for letting me make a video today while he was with our daughter. This is called Sunset. Isn't that pretty? And this color is called Flame. Can you believe it's August? I am just blown away, like mid-August at that. I'm just like, where is this year going? Again, I'm excited for fall, but holy cow. And maybe it's because when I moved my beauty room and stuff, I started really looking at my vision board again and realizing a lot of stuff actually has been manifested. I had a pretty chill list of goals this year. Like it was more about like doing date nights and gardening and like, I don't know, it was more about like slowing down things. And so a lot of it I have done, but I also feel like there's a few that I haven't even started. Like for a while I was trying to learn Spanish again. 
still know a little bit, but like it's just been so long that it's really hard for me to remember certain things. So I was doing Duolingo for like three or four months at the beginning of the year, end of last year, and I, I stopped. And I need to get back to stuff like that because it's just so annoying to me. I have a couple clients that don't speak English. Like I do their lashes and they don't speak English. And so I'd be so much nicer if I could actually communicate with them like more than just telling them which direction to look and that we're done, you know what I mean? So I'm really wanting to work on that, but it's August. It's wild how fast this year has gone. So I've been wearing eyeliner again, which is kind of fun. I feel like with my eye shape, I do like it. So I'm just throwing on like a simple brown line and I'm gonna smoke it out like I always do just cause it's, it's so foolproof. I love smoky liner cause you do not have to spend time on it. It does not have to be perfect. I'm doing it thick all the way across, accentuating the roundness of my eye. But if you want your eyes to look more almond, don't do this, do it thinner on the inner part. But I'm literally just doing this color. It doesn't even matter. It's not even dark enough. I'm just kind of doing it so that my eyeshadow really sticks to it. I am still, I'm so excited. I have a um, Pinterest outfit video coming soon and I haven't ever done one in like eight years or nine years, however long I've been on YouTube, I've never done one of those videos. I'm waiting for one more thing to arrive at my house that I ordered and it was literally the first thing I ordered too, but it's from this company called Commence and I think they're based out of China. So it's taking a long time to get here compared to like Nordstrom products that I ordered or Amazon. So I think after this video, I'm gonna do a kit tour, like my professional makeup kit, just so I have something else up this week because I'm waiting for that other clothing order. I also feel like I haven't done a kit tour in so long that it's needed. Like I, I think I did one maybe like five years ago and I've changed my kit so much and I've gotten so much more experience. I have been so obsessed with this milk mascara. I never want to spend money on mascara. This one was sent to me, but I would totally replace it. It just thickens up my lashes so much. I put on that MAC one first just to really define it, but I don't usually do that. I usually just use this one but it does get kind of like chunky. So I was just testing out, how would it be if I used a defining one first? I really just love it because I love wearing my natural lashes, you know, not adding a strip lash anymore. Like I rarely do that. And I love how like dark and thick and black it makes them. So back to our date night, I'm so excited, but I'm also like, damn it. Normally on a date night, I would get a bunch of yummy drinks and eat bread or pasta. And I'm now doing this keto diet. <laughs> So, but this is why rules are good for me because this is the perfect example. Like if I was saying, oh, I'm eating healthy, I would totally just do whatever I wanted tonight. And I feel like when you're initially starting to like reset your body and try to weed out the processed foods and sugar, you have to stay consistent because we're addicted to these things. And so anyways, we're gonna go to a like brewery. They have like a steak salad that looked really good. I don't know what I'm gonna wear. I just threw on this tank top. They came in like a three pack. I'm gonna link them because they are so nice. I think it came with, white, this beigey color and a gray. I love them. So I just threw it on to get ready with sweatpants. Another reason I was sweating outside looking at the fence. I'm like, why am I in sweats? It's 110 outside. Okay, lips. I wanted to show you this because I don't think I've ever shown this on camera and I really like it. It's a lip oil, but I think it's too pink. But if you want a lip oil that's like got color to it versus this, I really like the Rare Beauty ones. This is called Happy and I wear it a lot. It's really beautiful, but I think it's too pink. So I'm gonna stick with um, just an Old Faithful Creme de Nude from MAC. Just a good nude for when you got a lot of eyes going on. I feel like I need to take off this oil. This is a really nude lipstick. So whenever I use it, I fill in my lips with lip liner, like especially on the edges, but maybe everywhere. Today I just did the edges, so it's kind of like ombre. Yeah, cause you don't want it to look like you have no lips, but we are glowy. We have a smoky eye. We are summer date night ready. We just have to come up with an outfit and then I'm gonna go do that and put on another coat of mascara and I'll be back. Okay, I've wanted to wear this shirt so many times and I don't know if I ever actually have. I know my sister wore it. I've had it for literally almost a year. I just think the color is so pretty. Okay, so let's, oh, my eye was itching. Let's bronze our chest because there's nothing worse and when you have a full face of makeup, like even if it matches, I feel like you can just still tell where like makeup ends if you don't have anything on your chest. More mascara. Do you see what this does to my lashes? It just, I don't know, I swear it length, ah! I swear it lengthens them. There we go, I feel like I got this. <laughs> I feel like I got this and it just, 
it feels like when you spray you can feel the pressure but no liquid coming out if that makes sense so i don't know still juries out on that one because i'm sure it does a good job but i don't know if my sprayer just isn't right this is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed this Monday makeup chat using all the Sephora products that I just got. And yeah, I love making these. So keep commenting, keep coming to hang out. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching.